Kev. Yeah. Do you have um, do you have sexual fantasies? Yeah, I have sexual fantasies. What what about? Like women on that? Well, what else would I have sexual fantasies about? Oh, I don't know. Some people are into some pretty funny stuff on that. Like what? I don't know, like like goldfish and that. Goldfish? Yeah, this, you know, this bloke I know. What can you fantasise about goldfish? Oh, I don't know. Taking them out to dinner, getting them drunk, getting them horny. My wife reckons she fantasises about me. About you? Yeah, falling off the building. Yes, yeah, she's not the only one. He did, you know. He took one out. Who? This bloke I mentioned. Took what out? Goldfish. Nobody takes out a goldfish. Oh, he did? Scouts on. Well, those were his very words. He reckons he took out this, this goldfish. Nobody takes out a goldfish. Well, he did. That's what he told me. His very words were, I just took out this... Oh, no, no, that's right. Yeah, no, it was a bird. Yeah, that's right. He said he reckons he took out this bird. That was one night. Next night, he took out this chicken, he said. And the third night, he took out this real dog. He reckons he took out this real dog. I mean, I... Hey, Kevin! Good night, the rest of the night! Kev? Yeah? Do you believe in astronomy? Of course I believe in astronomy. Everyone believes in astronomy. Oh, I don't think you've been to that. What sign are you? You talking about astronomy or astrology? What's the difference? One is a science and the other is just garbage. Which is garbage? Astrology. Oh. So what sign are you? Guess. Leo. No. Virgo? No. Sagittarius? No. Taurus? No. Aries? No. Pisces? No. Um, Libra? No. Aquarius? No. Cancer? Yes. Oh, I knew you'd be Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. What year? 47. You're a pig. You're a Cancer pig. You're Just a pig. Will, will you knock it off? Will you knock it off? This yeah. stuff drives me nuts. Okay. Okay? All right. I don't want to hear any more of it. Okay. Four. What are you doing? Well, just doing your numbers. You know, numerology. Numerology? Yeah. Four, mate. Can't stand it. Hey, guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Hey, Kev, guess. What? We're compatible. We're going to be soulmates for the rest of our life's journey together. <laughs> you and me. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Do you have dreams? You mean like wet dreams? Yeah, wet ones, sunny ones, ones about ships, ones about chickens. You mean do I dream? Yeah. Well, of course I dream. Everybody dreams. Oh. Do you reckon they mean anything? Dreams? Yeah. I reckon they mean something. Why? Ooh. I nothing. Now, go on. Oh, no, it's just... No, I can't, it's all right. Do you ever dream you're flying? Yeah, yeah. With no clothes on? Yeah, it's a common dream. So that everybody can, like, see you willy and that? Yeah, everyone dreams that. It's nothing to worry about. Everyone dreams that? Yeah. Geez, don't upset you. Upset me? Yeah, all those people dreaming about you flying around with no clothes on and looking at your willy and that. But upset me. Other people dreaming about me? Yeah. You're talking about you dreaming about me? Yeah, I often dream about you. <laughs> dreamed about you last night. I dreamed I accidentally pushed you off the girder. All I did was just went like that and stretched out and over you went. <laughs> Do you reckon dreams mean anything? <laughs> Bought another bed. Another bed? Yeah, it's got a cantilever pine base. And quartz halogen reading lamps. What is it with you and beds? Designed by Ben Lexicon. You're always buying new beds. I was going to buy that on the French new French bed, the futon. <sighs> you bought slumber pedics, you bought posture pedics, you bought water beds. I had to, it's not me, it's, it's Brenda. Like, yeah. she's got this sleep consciousness problem. She just can't find a bed that's comfortable enough, she reckons. 
Like, you know, the first bed I bought was like that queen size bed. Yeah. Well, she slept in it for two nights, then she decided that it wasn't comfortable, so she slept on the couch. Without you. Yeah, and then I bought the four poster. I remember the four poster. And then she, I slept in that, and then she slept on the other one, the yeah. first bed. So I bought the third bed and the fourth bed, and that wasn't comfortable either. And now you can't move it in my place for beds, as you know, even in the kitchen, we've got two beds, <laughs> one top of the other one. Kenny, yeah? you can't see what's happening, can you? Where? In your marriage. <laughs> I mean, it's too close to you, isn't it? My marriage? Can't you see Brenda doesn't want to sleep with you anymore? Mate, I'm only telling you this because I'm your friend. I mean, only a friend would, would tell you. Because I'm a snoring and that? No, it's not your snoring. Snoring doesn't stop a couple from sleeping together. She doesn't want to sleep with you anymore. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. She's blaming it on the beds. Because of my habit. What habit? Well, every time I go to bed, I'll... Like, for the first ten minutes of that, I just lie there, and then I start to feel as if I'm falling. Oh, yeah. You know, I just, you know, I just get this horrible feeling like I'm falling down, like down a well, and I just grab out for things, and it just... <laughs> I suppose it could be that. Ah, oh, no, it's probably the bed. <laughs> What's that? It's an Easter egg. Made it myself. Made it yourself? Yeah, I got one of those chocolate egg making kits, you know, the moulds and everything. You just buy the chocolate and you heat it up and you pour it into the mould and you make your own Easter eggs. You can save a fortune. Where do you get the chocolate from? From the shops, I just buy, oh, like I buy Easter eggs and just melt them down. Because I like the chocolate they use in. You buy Easter eggs and melt them down to make your own Easter eggs? Yeah, clever, isn't it? I reckon I've saved a fortune. Making them myself. You are a complete nut, you know that? What do you mean? You are a complete nut. I made one for you. For me? Yeah, it took me about, it took me about ten days. Oh, Look. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot. It's, it's all right. Decent size. Yeah, it's solid chocolate. Really? Yeah, it weighs 26 kilos. Oh. There you go. Happy Easter. Oh, God! <laughs> Happy Easter! What's that? Oh, it's my remote control module from my video recorder. What'd you bring it here for? I thought we could have some fun with it. You know, like reversing things and pausing people and stopping stuff. Are you nuts? That doesn't work in real life. It only works with a video machine. See that train down there? I'll make it go backwards. There, look, it's reversing. It's not. It's shunting. It does that all day. <laughs> all right, then we'll see the concrete mixer down there. I'll pause him. There you go. He's stopping. Look, he's stopping. Of course he's stopping. He's stopping to pour out the concrete. Are you crazy? <laughs> hey. See that bloke over there in the park with his dog? I'll fast forward him. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Hey, Kev. Yeah? There's an article here about a bloke who reckons that some of these buildings aren't safe. What do you mean unsafe? He reckons these construction companies use substandard materials. Look, hang on, where is it? Here it is. Cost-cutting measures, including sk skimping on spec spec specifications. specifications, have resulted in some buildings being unstable. Yeah. I'm meaning likely to fall down. Likely to fall down? Uh, you mate. mean this building could fall down? No, you don't listen to that stuff. That's just some journalist trying to make a name for himself. Oh. People are so paranoid about big companies all the time, but you put yourself in their place. I mean, think about it. They make billions of dollars out of putting up big buildings, right? Yeah. You think they're going to risk all that income by skimping on second-rate materials? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It doesn't make sense. Gee, someone ought to be really naive. Kev? Now what? Do you ever get really bored looking at this view? Like, really bored? What's wrong with it? Day after day, the same view. Well, we're 22 stories up on a building. What do you expect to see? The barrier reef? <laughs> That'd be nice. All the tropical fish and that. You're not going to see many tropical fish up here. Depends what's on, doesn't it? I mean, what's on? 
Well, I got this. What is it? It's my remote control for my telly at home. Oh, you have finally flipped. Why? You watch too much TV, Kenny. This is real life, son. You can't just change channels when you're bored. This is reality. Well, have a look at this. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what? What's this one? Who did you do? That? Hey, look, just press the button. You want to change again? There you go. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Is it? Is it a one? Now I'll put the volume up. Kenny. Kenny. Change channels. Why? Change channels quickly. Kenny. Kenny. Don't snitch. Put that thing away and don't ever bring it up here again. You're right. I just want to see what's on channel 10. No. Don't do anything else. Oh. Oh. Tweety. Tweety, I've got a sandwich for you. What are you doing? I'm feeding me friend. What friend? Me bird, Tweety. Tweety, got a sanger? Bird's not going to eat a whole sandwich like that. You've got to give it a little crumb. No, he told sandwiches. He loves them. He even eats pies. He gave him one with sauce the other day. He loved it. <laughs> no bird eats a pie and sauce. He does. He loved it. I've had him since he was a chick. I fed him all sorts of things. Whole loaves of bread, whole rolls, French sticks. Legs of lamb. <laughs> Swiss logs. Every time we have these conversations, you come out with another flight of fancy, but this one takes the cake. He loves cake. That's why he's putting on so much weight. I'm surprised you haven't seen him around. Listen, mate, will you stop about the bird? There's no bird. It's a figment of your imagination. What's that? I just want a little portable telly from home. What do you got it up here for? I don't want to miss the show. What show? The RAAF flyover, the roulettes. Spectacular stuff. They, do, they swoop real low and do tricks, acrobatics and that. It's fantastic. Mate, it's happening right up here in front of you. Yeah, I know, I can see. What do you want to watch on a TV for when you've got the real thing happening? I don't know, it sort of looks more realistic on the television. Like, real life, life never looks as good and that. It's never as much fun. Hey, look! They're flying over a building site. You are absolutely nuts, you know that? Hey, some of them are coming down right low. Some blokes fallen off the building. Hey, this is fantastic television. Will you stop that? You're right, I'm only... Twenty stories up. I'm only exercising. We'll do it on the ground. Hey, Kev. Yeah. Do you reckon if I did lots of exercises and got really fit in that? But I'll be able to go to the next Olympics, like, no. like not Saul, no. but the ones after them? No. Why couldn't I? Look, mate, you've got to start when you're about four years old. It's a full-time job training for the Olympics. Well, there's another bloke on the side who's in the Olympics. He's Who? training. Who? Nigel. Nigel? Nigel. Nigel in the Olympics? That's right, he is. Nigel who drives the trucks? That's right, yeah. In the Olympics? That's right, he is. What events are you in? Oh, <laughs> um, pole bowling, I think. I don't know if he's any good, but he's got a really long pole. <laughs> Joe, they knocked down the CRA building. Yeah. Well, it seemed like only yesterday they were building that. 30 years ago, mate. 30 years ago? Yeah. I thought it was only new. Funny, you know. Seems like only yesterday we were working on the Simpson building. It was yesterday we were working on the Simpson building. <laughs> we only started on this site this morning, remember? Well, see what I mean? No, things change real fast around here. I reckon it's all the computers. Computers? Yeah. You know, I reckon there'll come a time when they'll be knocking buildings down before they're even built. How can they knock a building down before it's even built? Well, I don't know, but they'll find a way. You're nuts. Get in the way of progress, Kev. You get knocked over.
What's that? Where? In your hand. The sandwich? In the other hand. Ah, oh, it's string. I can see it's a bit of string. What's on the end of it? Me! What's on the other end? Ah, oh, a balloon. A balloon? Here. Yeah. What are you doing with a balloon? Nothing. This bloke just asked me to hold his balloon for him. What bloke? Oh, I don't know. I think his name was Alfred. Alfred? Yeah. Alfred who? I don't know. You don't know? No. Some bloke called Alfred just came over and gave a balloon, told you to hold it, walked away. Yeah. You don't even know his second name? No. Nah. Oh, no, hang on, wait a minute. Now, you write it down for me. Oh. I've got it here. You hold this for me? No. Oh, get in! Yeah, no, get it wasn't Alfred. It was Alan. In. Alan Bond. Hey, Cam. Hey, Cam. Timmy, 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 get out. Jeez, it's cloudy up here today. Yeah. Funny things, clouds. Yeah, I guess so. But you never know what's in them. Yes, you do. There's water in them. No, not all the time, there isn't. Because last time I seen this movie, it was called The Incredible Shrinking Man, and it was all about this bloke who went through like a radioactive cloud and he started getting smaller and smaller, and finally the cat got him. It really made me aware. Aware of what? Well, I was just aware of the dangers. Like with all the pollution nowadays, I mean, you just don't know what's in the clouds. Yeah, whatever it is, it's not going to make you shrink. I don't know, it might, did in the film. The film is not true, it's made up. No, it wasn't, it was a true story. Kenny, there's no such thing as making a person shrink. Nothing's gonna make you shrink no matter what you do to it. They're not going to shrink. Well, he's like eating it on a stupid television set. He's like, the movie's made of green cheese that you saw on a video. The problem with you is that all people in the world are they believe to us when they stand on the screen. Maybe you're right, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Are you all right, mate? Come here, mate. I'll look after you. Jeez, I don't know how to... Must be something in the cloud. Listen, mate, I'll, I'll look after you. I'll take you down down to the car park. Hang on. Wait a minute. Just sit there and... Cam! Oh, no, the concrete mixer! Celebrating what? We finished our wall. I mean, look at them. Oh, yeah. They've had so many hold-ups, oh, like yeah. people falling off girders and that. Yeah, we've had a few of those. Yeah. you fall off a lot. Fourteen times, mate. <laughs> the last one was the worst. Yeah, it's I a fell in the concrete mixer. That's right. At least your hair's growing back. Oh, bits of it. Glad to see it's out of your eyebrows now and your yeah. eyelashes. I'm starting to use his artificial legal right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, though. It's nice to get you on. Know, ten months has taken... Ten months. Been a few changes. Yeah. Tell you what, it's been a few changes with you too, mate. Oh, you older, wiser and that? Yeah, fatter. <laughs> Come on, mate, you put a bit of weight on over the last ten months. Well, it's just like winter, over winter and that, just a bit like puppy fat. Puppy fat? You're wearing a whole dog pound, mate. <laughs> you need to do some exercises. I'm doing exercises. Not sure. 5BX. 5BX? What's yeah. that? Canadian Air Force. What? Oh. <laughs> Kenny! 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 Don't move. Hey? Oh. Don't move. I want What's you to wrong? go off the wall. Off the wall? Scroll along, slowly. Slowly. What? Very slowly, very gently. You want me to go off? off? Yeah. Why? Very slowly. Right. Just move up. No, leave lunch. Leave, leave the lunch. I haven't leave, had me lunch. Leave it. I Just go had, off. I'm leave hungry. It. Move it. You've had your sandwich. I haven't had mine. Leave it. I can't. Leave. Oh! Leave me lunch! Oh! 